Have you ever been so happy and grateful that you jumped for joy? Well, so did the mighty King David of the Old Testament. We're going to find out why as we recreate this Bible story with rocks and pebbles. So let me show you what rock sizes that you need as we make this together. In order to make this really fun scene of David dancing, we'll need a few rock shapes. And as you can see for his arms and legs, we'll need something long. So get your long rocks out. And then we'll also need his head. And then I like making the crown. And so I got these little tiny triangles out of the gravel. So if you get a whole handful of triangles, sort them out and try to match them up, then we'll have something to work with. And also because David was a musician, I also added the notes and notes just represent music. And so we need little tiny circles and then maybe some shorter little long rocks or these stick rocks to make a note if you want some music in your picture. And then of course, you're gonna need a body for David and that's just kind of a longish rock. Um, these, I never knew what I would do with these funny shaped rocks, but then I realized this was kind of like a body and that's what we'll use. So any kind of bulky long rock you've got will be fine. And then maybe some shorts to put on that body. And so I got some other short pieces here. <laughs> shorts, short pieces. Okay, so are you ready to make this with me? Go ahead and pause this video, get your rocks out, and then you can start the video again. Now I have another video that you can watch where we talk about where to find the rocks, what shapes to get, and how to build your rock art collection. So make sure you see that video as well. So grab your rocks and your supplies and make sure you have a towel to protect the surface that you're working on. And let's get started. Being happy and grateful is so much fun because there's so much energy in being happy. Well, the Lord loves us to be happy and he wants us to praise him because we're so happy and joyful about him. So let's make King David who also praised him and King David did it in his own way. He did it in one instance by singing and dancing. So we're going to make David dancing. Now, first you're going to need a body and a body could be, you know, like we just mentioned, any old shape, but just kind of needs to be a little thicker and a little tall. Okay, so let's get our body. And then I like putting little shorts on, but shorts are kind of hard to find because you'll notice this one has a curve in it. So if you're going to put shorts on them, you know, getting a rock with a curve is very helpful, but this rock doesn't have a curve and those could be his shorts. This one's a little different. It's more like a square and squares work really well. And those could be his shorts with a little piece of cloth hanging down on the side. So you go ahead and get your square, rectangle, or whatever you have that could be the bottom part of David. But I was lucky to find this rock, so we'll try that out. And then always putting a head on makes it really look like a person. So here's his head. It's still looking a little wonky, isn't it? Until we get his arms and legs, it's almost hard to see. This head looks a little small. And if you want a tip for putting a head on a body, since we're doing an adult, it's usually, if you could fit three rocks across on his shoulders, then you've got the right size head. So this head will work really well. And you'll notice it's not a perfect circle. Again, using perfect shapes when we're doing art with people doesn't always look that great. So having something a little imperfect works a little bit better. Okay, now we need some legs and some arms and we need to show David being super happy. So let me just pull over some of my long rocks here. I have a big collection of long rocks and I call these stick rocks because they're very thin and they're very tall. And those are my favorite rocks. So anytime I'm outside, I make sure I look for these in any size. Even the teeny, teeny, tiny ones are super important. Look how small that one is and he's important. So always pick up your long skinny rocks. And then you may not have them here. So if you're on a white piece of paper doing this, you could just draw his arms and legs as well. But since I have so many rocks to choose from, we'll just use all rocks. Now let's try this one. Notice the flat side. I love it when I can get the rocks to match together just like that. And then we'll get another arm and we'll stick it here. Now, 
That's interesting. It looks like he's doing a dance move, huh? That could work. Or we could put his arms down. But if we put his arms down, what's the emotion we're creating? Not as much energy. But if we put his arms up, then we get some real energy going. Let's even put him up way up here. Woohoo! He's really excited. Now this arm looks a little thick, doesn't it? So let's try another one. And that's the fun of rock art, is that you just keep trying different ones until you like what you have. And since this one's a little thicker, he might make a good leg. So I'm going to just stick him in there. And I'll try this one for a leg. Yeah, so just put your arms and legs up there. And then these legs are a little short because a leg should be at least as long as the arms. But if we put feet on them, it'll make those legs longer. So here we go with some feet. Now, these are kind of triangles. So I always look for as many triangles as I can find. And then here's another triangle. But look, when I turn the triangle sideways, it could be a foot. See? works really well. That's a pretty good foot. So your triangles are really important to find out in nature. But I'll just try these two because I, before this video, I sat here for an hour and looked for a whole bunch of triangles until I found the ones I liked. And now the legs are extended and they're a little bit longer. So I want you to see how easy it is. You just get a body and you could just use one rock if you wanted to. You could just put, let's take those off. And look at this. I just have one rock one long rock and I stick it in there and that's just fine. That's even maybe better. That looks a little bit more normal even. So you keep trying out all your rocks until you find one that's fun. I got this one. I liked this angle because it just shows a lot of movement. Now let's talk a little bit about why David was dancing. David loved the Lord. Even when he was just a kid like you, he would play his lute his little stringed instrument, and he would sing songs for the Lord. So David loved music. So let's also get some music notes out here that would represent his love for music. Do you love music? You might be somebody who likes to sing. I love to sing. Well, David would sing songs and calm everybody around him. That was one of his gifts. Do you have any gifts? I know you do have gifts. And I wonder which ones are yours. Maybe you like to do rock art or paint pictures, or maybe you love to pray. I love to pray. When you love something, when it feels really good to do it, that's one of your gifts. Well, David had gifts of music, singing and dancing, and so he used those gifts to show the Lord that he loves him. The Ark of the Covenant was a very special piece that was sacred to the people at the time. It actually held the Ten Commandments, the tablets that the Lord gave. But the Ark of the Covenant was not in the city of David, and David wanted it back. And so when David went out of the city to the place where the Ark was to bring it back into the city, it was such a joyous time that he walked in front of that Ark as they walked the Ark all the way back to the city, and he sang and he danced and he leaped for joy. He was so happy that the Lord loves us and that the Lord guides us and protects us and takes care of us. So he praised the Lord by singing and dancing. One thing that will help us make this picture look like King David is by putting a crown on him. In 2 Samuel 6 verse 14 in the Old Testament, it says, And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of a trumpet. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michael, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord. Now, not all of us have the gift of dancing, but we do have different gifts. What are your gifts and how can you praise and celebrate God? I talk to him in prayer. I trust him and I try to love others like he loves. What do you do to show your love for God? Well, that's King David celebrating and praising the Lord. What does yours look like? Oh, I wish I could see it right now. I bet it's great. But use this rock art to tell the story to someone else and help remind us that we can celebrate and praise the Lord with the gifts that he has given us. All right, until next time, thanks for joining me and we'll do more Bible stories. Okay, bye-bye.